Hi, I'm Kim Doty. I am the owner of French Lake Winery and I'm the president of the Indiana Uplands Wine Trail. We're here today at Huber Plantation Hall in the Heritage Room to celebrate our second annual Uncork the Uplands with Indiana Uplands Wines, local foods, and Chef Daniel Orr preparing those foods and Lauren Smith, mixologist from Sellersburg, Indiana, preparing cocktails with Indiana Uplands Wines. Well, I think that the, the whole movement of farm to fork is really coming around and there's a huge interest in wine and food and, and the pairing thereof, using things from the terroir, which is the, the local earth, and uh, the combination of food and wine together makes this event a very special one that really celebrates the best of Indiana's food and wine. I really hope that people take away that, um, that wine and cocktails can be fun, that trying different wines, you may not like a certain kind, but that tasting them, you're gonna find what you like and what you don't like a little bit more. Um, and that way, but never to be afraid to try new things. I think that's what I really hope that people get from this. Also, they can see all of the great uh, food vendors and just the great things that are happening in the community in Southern Indiana. A lot of people don't realize that they think we're just a wine trail. We're actually a grape growers co-op. And part of our grape growers co-op is getting the word out that Indiana grows phenomenal grapes. We as the Uplands really put a lot of time and effort into growing these phenomenal grapes. In this event right here, the only wines that can be poured here today are wines that are actually grown in the Upland region. Uh, the industry uh, really has blossomed. We've, uh, When I started, I've been in the industry for 16 years. I think we had 20 wineries in the state. Uh, now we have 50 wineries in the state and really the, the uh, quality of wines has improved. Uh, immensely over those years. Well one great thing we have in Indiana is is that our state has embraced what we're doing as far as wineries. They're really allowing us, back in the old Prohibition days it was very difficult right after Prohibition for us to exist as wineries and then finally in the 1970s when we started our winery they allowed us to go ahead and start having wineries that can bring people out to our beautiful vineyards and beautiful farms and taste wine, drink wine, and buy wine. The, the wine industry in Indiana is just a great success story. Uh, it's really about economic development and tourism. Uh, it gets discussed as an alcohol issue, but it's really uh, an economic development issue, a small business issue as much as anything else. I'm so happy that we've included Indiana legislators in this event because it's important to have the public-private partnership and to continue the relationships between the legislators and the wineries. I think uh, uh, there's been an assumption that uh, you know good wine comes from places like California and, uh, and, and places out of the country um, or even uh, here in the United States if not California then uh, some other region and now folks are realizing that uh, uh, there are great wines coming from Indiana and they're going to have a chance to taste some of them tonight and uh, just have a fun time and uh, appreciate Indiana wine. The great wines and the great food all paired together and it's a fantastic event.